हेलो एवरीवन वी विल कंटिन्यू द टॉपिक एक्सेप्शन क्लास एंड इन द प्रीवियस वीडियो वी रेज्ड द एक्सेप्शन इनटू द ट्राई ब्लॉक एंड वी कवर द मोस्ट इंपॉर्टेंट पार्ट दैट व्हेन एवर आई एम गोइंग फॉर सिंटेक्स चेक और कंपाइलेशन चेक SAP is giving a warning at that point of time itself that you raise this exception, but we have not caught the exception. And why, why we caught this warning? Because our exception class is a subclass of CX underscore static check. It is checking or it is doing the checking at both the time compilation time and run time this is the main main advantage now in the future whenever i will go for cx dynamic check at that time we will not get any warning I and mean, if i have not handled i will directly get a run time error but here during the compilation time itself sap is giving you the warning that you have raised the exception, but you have not handled the exception. Suppose I ignore the warning and I am going for simply running of the program. Suppose I am putting a breakpoint. I am executing the program. I am going for a wrong order number. I will go to execute. We all know at selection screen event will trigger first because execute is also a action. Now, whenever I will do F6, have you seen size sub RC is other than zero? Now it will raise the exception. Now, whenever exception will raise, we have not handled. If something is not handled, if we have raised and we have not handled, system will simply, simply throw you runtime error. So just see what is CX static check. It is doing at both the time, compilation time and as well as run time. Compilation time itself, it gave you the warning that you have not caught the exception. Now we will learn how to caught the exception and how to handle the exception. You all know whenever we want to handle the exception, we will always, always make use of catch, catch. Now, the first important part, who will caught the exception and who will handle the exception? Simple answer is object, yes. Object will always handle the exception or object will always caught the exception. So what I will do, this is our catch block. What is our exception? Yes, this is our exception class. And who will, who will handle the exception or who will catch the exception object? So I will simply write suppose into LO underscore exception. I will declare this LO underscore exception. So whatever the exception raised, I simply passed to the object because this is always a golden rule. Who will catch the exception? Who will caught the exception? Who will handle the exception through the object only? So whatever the exception is there, we passed to the object. Now I will declare this object data LO underscore exception type ref. What is the name of our class? This is the name of our class. You can ignore this data declaration. I this just did, did for practice purpose. I am removing that. So I declared a object which referred to our class. Generally in interview we ask, yes, so whenever exception raised, how you handled the exception, how you caught the exception, so simple answer is whatever the exception is there, we pass it to the object is. Yes. Now I will show you in that debugging mode and we will further, further go for more clarification. Suppose I'm putting a breakpoint. 
Now, let's see first most important point, point, point before I go for this. Previously, have you seen? We got a syntax check. We got a syntax warning. I will say we will we'll got a compilation warning or syntax warning that you have not handled the exception. Now, there is no warning. There is no compilation error because we simply, simply caught the exception. Suppose if I will comment this line, you will understand this is what we did at that point of time. We got this particular warning at that point of time. And why? Because our exception class is a part of CX underscore static underscore check. I will activate. I will uncomment and then we will proceed further. Now I will put a breakpoint and show you in that debugging mode. I will run. I'm going for wrong order number. Now we will go for desktop three most preferable desktop. We gave a wrong order number. So it will simply give size sub RC four. Now size sub RC not equal to zero. It will raise the exception. And this is our exception ID, exception ID. Have you seen the same to same value we are passing? If you see in the class, what is the value of this attribute? What is the value of this attribute? You can see same to same. This is the way we are passing the attribute. So this particular exception raised. Now when this particular exception raised, yes. Now who will handle? The object will handle the exception. We will pass the exception to the object of this particular exception class. Just see, as of now, object is initial. Whenever I will pass the exception, whenever the exception is there, I will pass. Have you seen the object of exception class is created? Now the object of exception class is created. Now what we want to display? We want to display this particular message. Please enter correct order number. Please enter correct order number. This is what we want to display. Just go to methods. Have you seen? We have a method get underscore text. And what it is saying returns message text. And it is a instance method. Can we call the instance method through the object? Yes, we have the object. We have the object. So with the help of this object, we will call this method. Whenever we will call this method, it will return what? It will simply, simply return. Please enter correct order number because this is the exception ID you passed. This is the text ID you passed. This is what we passed. So simply we will get the message. Please enter correct order number. Or you can understand in a way also this get underscore text message will give the message of this particular attribute, whatever the fixed value is there. Now, what is the summary of this particular video? In this video, we simply firstly run the program. We got a runtime error also. Why we got a runtime error? Because we have not handled the exception. Now, golden rule. Always, always who handle the exception or what, what should be used to catch the exception? Who will caught the exception? Object always caught the exception. Object always catch the exception. All object always handle the exception. So we pass the, so we catch the exception and we pass the exception to the object. We declare the object which refer to our exception class. Whenever exception raised, so what we did, I showed you the object was initial. But whenever we caught the exception and pass to the object, now the object is created. Now in the next video, I will simply, simply call the method get underscore text. 
and I will show you the message because ultimately our target is we need to display this particular message. message. So in the next video, we will use this. So that's it in this video. Thank you.